Alright guys, how are you doing? It's Alex Jailbreak Hope and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5 and how to um, start using it without the UDID registered. So this way of uh, using it without the UDID is not the uh, old way of triple uh, clicking the home button and uh, activating voiceover and then sliding down the uh, notification center and going to the uh, weather app because that thing you cannot even use in multitasking and you don't have all the new features of iOS 5. So let's begin by restoring to iOS 5. So I'm gonna quickly do that right now. Where's my IPSW? Uh, let me see. Which? Sorry. Oh, there it is. So I'm just gonna restore quickly to iOS 5. So, yep. So there it is, it's gonna restore guys, and I'll be right back once it's done. So hey guys, my patch is done restoring, and you should be in this screen, and iTunes should say that it, it could not activate your patch, but um, that's because you don't have your UDID registered. So now just let's go through the setup process, even though you can, so yeah, English, uh, and uh, country, United States, I think it's in the bottom. Uh, no. Here it is, United States. So next, and then we're gonna be choosing our Wi-Fi network. So there you go. So let it identify it, and then click next. So now it's gonna try to activate our pad touch, but. It will not, because we don't have our UDID registered. So by the old method, you would triple click the home button. And voiceover should activate. And then you could need to put it there and slide with three fingers. And go there and then just double click here. And over off. And then go back. And you would have iOS 5, but it doesn't have the complete features. So as you can see, it doesn't have it in multitasking. As you can see there. So now we're gonna jailbreak. So open up Red Snow 0.9.8 beta 1. And I'll have the link down below. So we'll open it up. And so browse for firmware. So then, once it uh, identifies it, click next, and it will prepare the jailbreak data. Whoops. So then, um, check install Cydia and click next, and we'll be powering off our i device. So, whoops. And you need to wait until the wheel finishes. So once our potage is off, um, I like to put it into DFU mode um, from here. So I'm gonna do that now. So hold um, power plus a home button for 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let go of the power button. So. And keep holding home until iTunes realizes your um, my device in DFU mode. So there you go, you um, hear your sound and then just click, um, what, where is Red Snow? There you go, click uh, next. And so it will start to jailbreak. It will explode it with Lime Rain and do all that good stuff. And then your screen should flash white. Well, actually, no. And so you'll download the jailbreak data. And so then it should do these uh, strange codes. So don't be afraid, don't freak out. Just um, keep following the process. And what's now should say done. You can see there. So 
uh, when you see that you can just uh, click close and so now we'll stay with the iPod touch and then it should be here and so I'm just gonna pause the video and I will be back when it's booting on so uh, right now is done my iPod touch is booting up So uh, my device is booted up and when you try to set it up it will give you the screen again and the screen items because that's because you don't have your UDI to register. So then um, we're going to be using iFile to modify a playlist so uh, log in with the old method so triple click the home button and just tap the little clock and then slide with three fingers down and then double click on the local weather and it'll take you here and then just close voiceover just turn it off and oh, what the heck oh there you go and so then you should see Syria, but it should be a white icon, but that's because it's a tether jailbreak and it should crash and also Safari. As you can see there. So what we need to do now is uh, you can just take the other items, whatever. And we'll be launching with Snow again. And again, let it prepare the jailbreak data. So then again, uh, watch. Well, actually, what we'll need to do now is uncheck install CD and click the just boot tether option. And then, well, let me just close that. Uh, click next, and we'll be putting our device into DFI mode again. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two one and i actually did it bad so well just do it for 10 seconds and then let go of the power button and keep holding home until your computer recognizes your right device so there you go and then let go of the home button and you know explode it with lime rain and open first boot stage and waiting for reboot And then you should see a little pineapple icon booting on your iPod Touch. As you can see there, so then uh, you can click finish on Red Snow and let it load. And I'll be back when it's done. So it is almost done. Just let it finish. And then you should turn to a uh, Apple logo and do its little thing. So then. Uh, Whatever. Uh, once again, triple click the home button, and then click the start bar, and slide with your fingers, and you can turn off voiceover, and go here, and exit. So now you should see Cydia with a good icon, and so now you need to oh, you launch it, and uh, here. And so now let it do all that stuff, and I'll be back when it's done. So once it is done, you will need to download iFile. So uh, that's what I'm doing now currently. And iTunes should still have that thing that you can't activate your iPod Touch. But just wait for iFile to finish, and I'll be back when it's done. So I have downlo downloaded iFile, and so then what you need to do is go into iFile. And it works on iOS 5 perfectly, so don't worry about that. And then go all the way back to where, until you see this little slash here. And then you will need to go to uh, System, Library,
core services and scroll all the way down until you see system version dot playlist and then click on that text viewer and uh, we're going to focus is this little last string which is string um, beta string so what you need to do let me uh, focus uh, there you go what you need to do is click edit and put the little magnifying glass here and uh, where it says beta sorry beta uh, you need to click on it and you need to delete it and until it is like that and then what you need to type is um, 5.0 that's what you need to type and then uh, click the little done button and save and done so then we can exit out of file and now um, we need to boot tethered again so I already have set it up as you can see here so again the same procedure just boot tethered and uh, yeah click next put our device into different mode so 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let go of the home button, power button, sorry. So I know that this video is kind of long, but um, I wanted to make it clear so that you understand everything and don't be confused, so sorry if it's too long, but you can skip parts that you already know. So yep, so now let's just wait for uh, Resnow to boot her right was the other day. So there's the pineapple logo. So I'm just gonna be back when it's done. So it's booting up and now let's focus on iTunes. As you can see now it'll access it completely. So you will not see the little stupid pop-up that it couldn't activate your iPod touch. Because now it will, uh, as you can see, in a little moment. Well, now let's focus on the upper touch, because it's taking a little bit of time. So you'll do the same thing. Oh, and there it is, guys. Set up your iPod. It didn't give the crappy thing of set it up, and yes, it was slight set up. And here you get the option of set up as near iPod touch. Restore from iCloud backup and restore from iTunes. So uh, I'm just gonna click set up as new iPod Touch and next, and then we'll be signing on with an with our Apple ID. So sign in. So let me just put it. So there it is, and let it load. And then it'll give us the setup by cloud option. So um, I'm just gonna click yep. So next, uh, merge, whatever. Yeah. So next again. Actually, let it load. And find my upper touch, yes, next, diagnostics, um, let me see, and don't, and then your upper touch is set up, you're ready to start using the most advanced iOS server, and start using upper touch, and there it is guys, now we have our notification center working perfectly fine, multitasking working excellent, and we have the new lock screen camera feature. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Peace.